y'all. Welcome to sixth grade, chapter 11, lesson three. We're going to go ahead and get started. Um, so you will notice first, um, I want you to look at number one in the diagram. You'll notice that there's two of each of the same size box. Okay. This is as if a box is being folded together. Okay. Just want to take just a minute to show you guys. Okay. So, all right. So you'll see that there's two of the tall skinny ones that are the same, two of the wider ones, and two of the other tall skinny ones. Okay. So, that's just to give you an idea. So what I did is I outlined the three different squares that we need to worry about here. But there's two of each of them, okay? Which is why they're multiplying all of these by two, okay? So what I did here is I wrote down the three dimensions to this box on number two, okay? Now, when you only have three numbers, you only have three choices um, in order to line up your um, your numbers, okay? So I did a three and a half by four, a three and a half by six, and then a four by six. That's the only combinations I can do anyways. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that, okay? So when I'm doing the three and a half, um, since I'm doing it by two, I can get rid of my decimal by multiplying that by two because three and a half times two is seven, okay? So seven times four, 28, okay? Again, seven, now times six, 42, okay? Four times six is 24 times two is 48. Now I just need to add those three numbers up, okay? So eight plus two is 10, plus eight more is 18, carry that one. One plus two is three, plus four is seven, plus four more is 11, it's 118 inches and we multiplied inches by inches so it's inches squared okay just like the last lesson guys okay all right we're going to do one more okay this is a nine by nine by nine okay so you're going to have for each one you're going to have nine by nine but you need to multiply that by two because there's two of each one of those or because there are six sides and they're all the same we could just multiply it by six okay so nine times nine is 81, we all know that. So I'm gonna do 81 times six, okay? On a cube, they're all identical and they're six sides. So I can just multiply it by six instead of multiplying them all by two. So six times one is six, six times eight is 48, 486, and we're in feet, and we multiply feet by feet, so it's feet squared, okay? All right, you guys do number four. We're gonna go ahead and do number five. A shoe box measures 15 by seven by four and a half, okay? 15 by seven by four, and I'm gonna put 4.5. It's a little easier to deal with decimals than it is to deal with fractions. So we're gonna go ahead and deal with that, okay? So I have 15 by seven. I have 15 by four and a half. And I have seven by four and a half. And there's two of each one of those. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the math, okay? So 15 times seven, I do not know that math off the top of my head, so I'm gonna go down here and do 15 times seven. Seven times five is 35, carry the three. 15 times, sorry, seven times one is seven plus three is 10, that's 105. And if we doubled that, it would be 210. If you need to do that math too, you absolutely can, okay? Again, I do not know 15 times 4.5. Let's do some math, okay? Five times five is 25, carry the two. Five times one is five, plus two is seven, all right? So tic-tac-toe, four times five is 20, carry the two. Four times one is four, plus two is six. 675, and we have to go in one place for the decimal. And we have to double that now. So 67.5 times 2. Okay, 2 times 5 is 10. 
2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. 2 times 6 is 12, plus 1 is 13. We have to go in one place for the decimal. That's 135. Okay. Now we got to do 7 times 4 and a half. Okay. So 7 times 5, 35, carry that 3. 7 times 4 is 28, 29, 30, 31. Go in one place for the decimal, 31.5. I do need to multiply that by 2 now. So 2 times 5 is 10. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 more is 3. And 2 times 3 is 6. I'm going to go in one place for that decimal, gives me 63. Okay, we're going to add those up. I know that's a lot of math down here. Thank goodness it's multiplication and not division. Okay, so 0 plus 5 plus 3, 8. 1 plus 3 plus 6, 10. Carry that 1. 1 plus 2 plus 1, 4. 408 centimeters. And we multiplied centimeters by centimeters, so it's centimeters squared. I just wrote that in the wrong one. Sorry, guys. That doesn't go in this one. You guys were doing that one. Okay. Okay. Oh, yay. The length of one side of a cube. So they're all the same. It's five by five by five. Okay. So. We're going to have 5 by 5, and instead of multiplying it by 2, a cube has 6 sides, and they're all identical, so we're going to do that, okay? So, I'm actually going to, instead of doing 5 by 5, which I know is 25, is super easy, I'm going to do 6 times 5, which is 30, and then I'm going to multiply that by 5, because I know that 0 goes on the end, and that's 15. So, 150 inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared. Okay, all right. Make sure you guys write down your work, okay? All right. Uh, we're going to go on to the back where you guys are going to do the lesson check. And we're going to do this file already. Okay, so it says detergent costs $4 per box. Kendra graphs the equation and gives the cost y of buying x boxes of detergent. What's the equation? Well, the cost, y, is going to depend on the number of boxes by 4. So it'll be 4x. That's it. y equals $4 per box. Okay? All right. A trapezoid with bases that measure 8 and 11 and a height of 3. What's the area? Okay, well... To get a trapezoid, we have base 1 plus base 2 times the height divided by 2. So we have base 1 is 8, base 2 is 11, height is 3, and we have to divide by 2. All I did was plug in the numbers it gave me, okay? Bases 8 and 11, height 3, okay? All right, so 8 plus 11 is going to be 19. We have to multiply that by 3. 3 times 9 is 27. Carry the 2. 3 times 1 is 3 plus 2 is 5. So now, 57 divided by 2. Okay? So, 2 goes into 5. 2 times. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract. Get 1. Okay? One is smaller than two, so I'm going to go ahead and bring down my seven. Two goes into 17 eight times. Eight times two is 16. Subtract to get one again. Now, I'm going to add a decimal, bring it up, and then add a zero and bring it down. Okay, two goes into 10 five times. Two times 10 is five, or sorry, two times five is 10. Get zero. So, 28.5, we're dealing with 
inches, and we multiplied inches by inches, so it's inches squared. Okay, make sure you pause and write down your work, guys. Okay. All right. City Park is a right triangle with a base of 40 and a height of 25. On a map, the park has a base of 40 and a height of 25. What's the ratio of the area of the triangle on the map to the city park? Wow, okay, so I guess 